a brand new Chicago is in front of us. I can't wait to continue to lead this city towards a future that generations to come will look back and see the soul of Chicago that has made it possible for posterity. Thank you all. My name is Brandon Johnson, and I am the 57th mayor of the city of Chicago. Brandon Johnson there delivering a passionate speech after being sworn in as Chicago's mayor. Johnson acknowledged the challenges that lie ahead while also offering hope for a brighter future. We're going to hear much more from the city's new mayor coming up in a live report at 6 o'clock. And members of the Chicago City Council also sworn in today, and there are a lot of new faces. WGN Sean Lewis is in our newsroom with a look at the shift they are expected to create at City Hall. Sean. A big shift indeed, Ray. More than a quarter of City Council will be brand new. They range from older people who have no city government experience to those who have worked within City Hall for years. According to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. As all 50 older people swore an oath this morning, 13 did it for the very first time. I also want to last but not least thank my folks at Democratic Socialists of America, baby. 46 ward older person Angela Clay at 31 is now the youngest member of council. She's one of six new women of color and one of seven Democratic Socialists on what will be the most progressive city council in Chicago history. We'll see what kind of influence they exert as we look at programs and spending for that community. Political analyst Paul Lisnick says it may play well with Mayor Brandon Johnson's progressive agenda. The key is to get 26 votes, including some of the moderates. Paul has been a lifelong ally of the LGBT community. Like new 44th Ward Alderman Bennett Lawson, who's long worked in city government and endorsed Paul Vallis in the runoff election. Will they be able to build a bridge or will they want to challenge the mayor? Clearly this, this mayor is in line with a lot of the very progressive members of city council, but there are some old guard people, Northwest Side Alderman Nick Spasato and others, who may put up a challenge to this mayor and what he wants. In the end, it will be the first 100 days that will be watched very closely as coalitions are built across city council and the power dynamic with the new mayor, who's already exerting power by cutting the number of council committees. For now, it is a honeymoon period, getting to know you, if you will. The first real council meeting will be next Wednesday, May 24th. In the newsroom tonight, Sean Lewis, WGN News. Thank you, Sean.